Wasn't expecting this many. I put the word out, cocktail weenie. Dinosaurs don't get a museum this big. This is just Gotham's way of saying thanks. Without Batman, the world would be a much darker place. Who knows? Someday you may end up in this museum, Damien. <laughs> Intimidating much, Dad? Could I finish junior high before you put a cape on me? If this museum shows me anything, it's that the world will always need a Batman. But what if I want to be a scientist? Crime fighting is a science. What about a race car driver? The Batmobile is the fastest car on the planet. Astronaut. The galaxy is just another neighborhood to patrol for a crime fighter. Isn't that what Green Lantern told you that time? Cut it out, Dad. Don't map out my life for me, okay? Damien, why don't you go check out the Hall of Holyisms? It's corny, but it's kind of cool. He gets that attitude from you. But he has your heart, Bruce. You know how proud he is of you. Of all of this. But he's young. He needs to figure things out for himself without us pushing him. Yes, you've got a question? I always felt Batman was best suited in the role of gritty urban crime detective, but now you guys have him up against Santas and Easter bunnies? I'm sorry, but that's not my Batman. Possibly they're correct. Maybe we need some testing too. Here, read this. Batman's rich history allows him to be interpreted in a multitude of ways. To be sure, this is a lighter incarnation, but it's certainly no less valid and true to the character's roots as the tortured Avenger crying out for mommy and daddy. And besides, those Easter bunnies look really scary, right? <laughs> true that. Really scary. Meh. Look, the tiger appreciates your concern, Batman. He's coming to thank you. against nature, Catman. There's a cage waiting for you in Blackgate Prison. Heal. Good boy. Well, you deserve it. Now that's just creepy. We sure are lucky you happened by, Cape Crusaders. We've been on Joker and Penguin's trail for a while. They learned this old theater once belonged to the notorious gangster, Benny Bulldog Benson. Of course. I read that Bulldog hid a fortune in the theater, but died before he could recover it. That's what they meant when they said they were going on a scavenger hunt. Right. The old place is scheduled to be torn down. Joke. You see this? Someone mispainted Batman's neck. I hate that. Joker and Penguin are trying to scare everyone away so they can find the money first. Well, I've got a plan to turn the tables on those two. You do that, Fred. Uh, Scoob and I will wait in the Batmobile. We're it's safe. I think I know what Fred has in mind, Shaggy. And you'll be safe if you do exactly as we say. Like I was afraid he'd say that. <laughs> he lies and fights Batman! Purity and virtue, 
Batman. Coward crawl away, Batman saves the day. Also, boy wonder Robin. Batman and Robin, Cape Crusaders at night. Biff, how's that? Batman! In our last episode, Batman and Robin once again triumphed over their arch enemy, Lord Deathman, after he returned from the grave. But this time, will their most cunning adversary stay buried? I'll bet this is the first time anyone has been buried twice in the same grave. In any case, it's over now. There is no way even he could escape from the grave again. Don't run. Gather your wits. Confront your enemies. I can't! My imagination is running away with me! Ah! <laughs> Let me go! Huh? The Bat Radia, one of my better crime-fighting inventions. I don't believe it. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Batman of Earth. I've been stranded here. Then welcome to the planet Zur and R. Here, I'm Batman. Given the infinite possibilities in an infinite universe, it's logical two Batman would come to exist on two separate planets. Then I assume, as a crime fighter, that you too were inspired by one of these. Uh, something like that. It's good to have you here. I can always use more help keeping Dothropolis safe. <laughs> Wormholes? Wormholes! So that's how he does it! I'll be taking what's mine now. When I return with my friends, we'll take everything else. Well, finally a Batman who's in on the joke. <laughs> I knew you'd betray me, Joker. You said it. In the end, I'd have to count on myself. So in the split second I was gone, I spent a week visiting parallel Earths. Traveling alone is a great way to get in touch with yourself. In fact, I really bonded with me, myself. And I. Shall we? Wasn't expecting this many. I put the word out, cocktail weenie. So, this is really it. Yeah, looks like. At least you can say you had a good run. A great run. And until we meet again, boys and girls, know that wherever evil lurks, in all its myriad forms, I'll be there with the hammers of justice to fight for decency and defend the innocent. Good night. <laughs>